Did you ever have a day where you just couldn't even with technology? Because that's my day right now. You better be recording. You better be. You. Today the plan is to film my life in planners. It's a tag by Kayla over at Microscope Beauty and who also owns Oh Hello Stationery Shop. I'm pulling up the questions right now, which is why I'm not necessarily looking at you. Um, and I tried to film this a couple hours ago and it just didn't work, so we're going to try again. The oven just went off. I have salmon in there. Should I? I'll be right back. Anyway, so today, the plan, if I can't, <laughs> the plan, I'm not funny. Without further ado, let's get into the questions. So, first, Ka first Kayla, the first blah blah blah. The first question is, what's the oldest planner you have and what's your, basically your first planner? So, the first one I could track down and I found it at my parents' house a few, I want to say like a month ago, is like this little planner that I think is from Dollar Tree. Yeah, it's from Dollar Tree. And um, just a weekly planner, like a horizontal planner. And I'm pretty sure like I was one of those moments where like you're in the store and you're like, mom, can I have this? And because your mom's like, it's a dollar. It's like, yeah. So, I, I did not really use this at all. In 2003, I was 11. So, I think I, like, yeah, I, like, wrote my, what, the, my birthday in, and, like, we were going to Disneyland right around my birthday. So, that's all that's in there. This was a particularly bad year for my handwriting. So, I don't know. I just think it's cute that I had, I wanted a planner when I was, like, 10 or 11. And I also think it's cute that this matches a purse that my grandpa gave me for my birthday that year, so how cool is that? I guess I liked red back then. I'm not so much into it now, but it's cute, right? Question number two is how many planners do you keep for sentimental reasons? And my answer to that is every planner that I've ever used. Um, I just keep them. I don't have too many, I think. I probably have more journals that I've written than planners and it's you know it's always fun to go back into your diary from when you were like 15 and see all of the silly things and the silly boys that you worried about but that's a tangent so how many planners do I keep I have one I have a whole stack of planners back here two three four five six seven eight nine so including this year's planners I have nine so that's not so many when you think about it, but it's it's my whole it's essentially my whole like conscious life. So, question number three is how many planners do you actively use at one time? And this changed very recently. Um, I used to just keep one. Uh, I started keeping one regularly in college, even though like in high school I had some planner type things where I'd write all my school stuff, but. I have no idea where those are at this point. Um, I probably at my parents' house. I don't know. Um, so yeah, all through college, I just used one planner per year, and then this, like two months ago in June, I started using two planners. I use uh, like a plan ahead, just horizontal agenda thing that I got at Walmart for like six bucks, and then I use the Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner, which you have seen in videos before this one. Number four, share what happened one week from an old planner. Um, so before all the footage died, I read from my 2010 planner, um, and some of that footage saved, so I'll insert that here. Let's go to this. This is like a, I think this is leather. This was my mom's. She gave it to me. Um, and it just has like all this paper in here, and um, 
she had a 1999 vertical weekly calendar from like day runner that she never used and so I crossed it out and turned it into a 2004 calendar so 2004 I was 12 so why don't we see what I was up to when I was 12 okay I'm sure I was extremely productive and busy right I mean I was what in like seventh grade or in like May of this year I, it w I wouldn't even be 12 yet this was like my birthday week <laughs> okay so I had to rewrite all the things, so like, this goes from Friday to Thursday instead of Monday through Friday, because the dates didn't match up. So Friday, May 10th, 2004, I had a Girl Scout meeting at 3.15, uh, my brother had a baseball game at 5 o'clock, and we had dinner at 7 o'clock, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Saturday, May 11th, my brother had another baseball game at 12 noon. Um, which ended at 2.30. I wrote end of game in here. My handwriting was so bad. Like, uh, uh, 5.30, we went to church, and then we had dinner at 6.30. Uh, <clears throat> Sunday, May 12th, was Mother's Day in 2004, and that just takes up the whole day, and then we had dinner at 5.30, I guess. Monday, May 13th, I had ballet class at 4.15, and we must have had dinner at 5 o'clock. I have no idea if this is actually when we had dinner. <laughs> I just used to like to keep track of like dinner time for some reason. Tuesday, May 14th was my 12th birthday, and at 3 o'clock my sister had a Girl Scout meeting, and we must have had dinner at 4 o'clock. Wednesday, May 15th, my sister had ballet at 3.30. I had ballet at 4.15 and 5 o'clock dinner. On Thursday, May 16th, it says, play with Rebecca, my sister, and then my grandfather was visiting, so he must have stayed for the rest of the week, weekend, something like that. Or maybe he was just visiting that day, I don't know. So that was what I was up to when I was 12. I was very busy and productive. Question number five is, how many different styles and types of planners have you used? Um, so... Do these two count? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. There were those two. There was my Coach 2010 planning diary that my mom gave me after um, she took it out of the case that she bought for her daytimer, because she's partial to daytimer, if you were wondering. Then for 2011 and 2012, I used these, like, this is by Plan Ahead. I didn't even take the sticker off of this one. This is 2012. Um, these were just like your generic horizontal planner that are like six bucks at the drugstore, which is, I'm pretty sure that's where I got these. These were my sophomore and junior, well, freshman through like first half of junior year of college. <clears throat> so those are those. Then... For 2013 and 2014, I had these green room planners that I got at Target, and I'm really sad that I can't find these anymore. I know some people said they were in other stores that don't exist in California, so that's kind of sad. But this was my favorite because it was the wood grain. And these were like another, you have a monthly view. You have a monthly view in all of these, I think, except for the coach one. Um, and you have like notes pages, and then your weekly view which this one's pretty empty because I wasn't in school at the time. It's my brother's 19th birthday this week. Um, so it was just good, and I liked the um, pastel colors, and you had like a ton of notes pages in the back. So I'm really sad that I can't find these or they discontinued them or something. I, I don't know what happened with that, because then what happened at the beginning of this year is I went to Target. I couldn't find planners anywhere in January. Like right now, Target is overflowed with planners because I guess they caught on to the planner craze trend and I couldn't find them in January though when I needed one so I went to Walmart and got this one this is by plan ahead and I was not crazy about like every page being hot pink and I was not crazy about like how little space you have to write everything it just didn't really work for me and you only have like a few pages of notes that I filled up and 
you know, I use it and I've made it work for me. Like I put a pocket in the front and all that, but not my favorite thing. So when I found out about the planner community online, that was cool because I, I got to know like what to do to make the planning more interesting and more organized. And also like I found out about the Hobby Planner. So I bought this like in late June and started using it in July because that's when they all started. And I've really been liking it. Um, so I think this goes through December of not this year, but next year. So I'm going to have this for a while, but I think I'm going to try to stick with this one. This is this week. I didn't do a plan with me video just because it's getting to be a bit much for me. And also sometimes I just like, it, it takes the stress off of it. Like it brings back the hobby that I initially like was interested in. So I might do one, one a month or something like that. But other than that, I'm going to hold off on the plan with me videos for right now. Um, just so I can get better at doing it before I start showing it off. Question number six is how has your planning style changed over time? And um, over the years, it really hasn't changed other than the fact that I use the planner more in depth. Um, I didn't start using a planner like every day until college. And even then it was only to write in really brief things. Um, now that I work full time, I have like, lengthy to-do lists in there plus like extra post-its of what I need to do every day just because I have so many ongoing projects. Other than that the biggest change was a couple months ago when I started decorating my planner with you know st dirty sticker books from I guess it's a company in and of itself but the only place I can really find them is at Michael's. So those are fun um, and then washi and all of that stuff and using I used to use different color pens. That was like my only decorating. Number seven is what is your favorite planner you've ever had? And that is definitely the Happy Planner. Although the Green Room books were my old favorite and I still wish I could find them just for um, the planner that I carry around all the time. Because the Happy Planner to me is not something I want to carry around all the time. First of all, it's very bright and flashy and like, look at me, I have a planner. And I'm not into that. Um, so I would love to find a green room planner again. So if you know where to find one, let me know. Number eight is how long do you save your planners? And as you can see, I save them until I'm dead. But we'll have to see where this goes from here. If I'm gonna continue to save these, I think I will, because they don't take up as much room. I basically save like every book I've ever read that I had to buy or that I chose to buy. I save all my journals, I save all my scrapbooks, like. If I write in it, it's mine. It's staying with me forever. I'm the historian of my own life, which sounds kind of narcissistic, but I just, I like looking back on things. Question number nine is how do you see yourself planning in 10 years? And I don't know. In 10 years, I'll be 33. So I may have a family. I may not. You can never count on those things, I guess, but um, I'm currently single and have no children, so basically my planner is mostly about me. And sometimes things my siblings are doing if I'm going to them, but I don't live with my siblings anymore. I'm in that weird in-between phase that I think is, I think is good and natural, honestly, but, you know, everyone has a different life. I, I don't know how I will be. I mean, if I have kids, I'll probably have to devise some sort of system for that, like color coding or like blocking sections off. I That's kind of stressing me out just thinking about that, which is why I don't have kids right now. <laughs> I'll stick with the planner decorating for now anyway while I still have time. It's, it's fun and it's, you know, relaxing. So that's a tough question. That's a good thing to think about. And final question number 10 is what's your favorite thing about planning? And for me, this goes back like at least five years when I started using a planner. I know more recently people really like decorating and the community that's formed online uh, relating to planning, but I just, I, I like having a brain dump. Like, that's why I journal, that's why I scrapbook, like, I need to have it down on paper in front of me. And so that's basically what I do, I mean, like, if I could show you 
I'll just flash you that. Like, that's my brain right there. If I don't have it in front of me, I get tape. It would I would get so stressed out thinking about what do I have to do. You know, it helps me get my ducks in a row, if you will, and just see what I have to do so I can go about actually doing it. If that makes sense. So that's really my favorite thing about planning because without it, <laughs> I it would be very difficult for me to work and also do other projects on the side when I'm not at work. That's just my opinion. So that is my life in planners. I want to hear about yours. Uh, I would ideally like to have this channel not necessarily be all about planning just because there are other things that I do. It's just this is kind of the easiest thing to make a video about, for me at least. Um, but let me know, first of all, what your life in planners looks like. I'm gonna send this video to Kayla and just because you know when you make a tag video like I just did with my boyfriend like you want people to respond to it obviously so I'm gonna share it with her and um, her group on Facebook um, but I also want to hear from you all about what you think and what kinds of videos you think I should be doing in the future. If you have any ideas, shoot them at me in the comments, and I will see you later.